Smith is the author of Watershed, Come Such Frequency, Pigeon of Tears, and the forthcoming Park of Unwired Asking. Formerly a publisher for the LRL magazine and book series, she lives in Austin where she does web design and community outreach work. Please welcome Ash. to read here before, but this is the first time I've had a microphone, so it's kind of, I feel like Stevie Nicks a little bit. So I'm going to read a couple like of poems. I'm going to read basically all the poems I've written since I got pregnant, which is um, five. Um, and I made a book thing. If anyone wants one, then I have copies of them. I can hand out. Um, yeah. So it's called Vegas Flytrap. And actually, it uh, has a quote, starts with a quote by um, Kathy Eisenhower, who isn't here tonight, but her partner is, so I'll make sure I get them to you. And anyway, I wasn't going to, the quote is, uh, well, think he pretends to replace you. So, no, Consciousness is an ancient virus, multiple of a hack bacterium outlined, how sorrow makes a new space where nothing was, but I don't want to sticky about it yet, when there is pure watermelon, full slices in a crystal vase, on the trailer park birthday table where we filled such large mylar balloons with some of the world's last helium and tied them on the gate that means I love you and the entire contours of your existence first spring, all weekend, Willie Nelson radio, when this holographic light makes a pattern even an infant's less nimble eyes could recognize, streaming through these tall trees that mean somehow infinity is real. Even a newborn could recognize, if not externally, then born with a virus that eats us, that says, you know, the thing you wanted to believe, that somehow the future is large enough. Though teeth are a kind of skin and made from the same cells because how close hold is to tearing. And this pinata bought from the bulldozed pinata shop, demolished with all the pinatas inside, against the owner's will, only to be given resources from friends to make a new shop, as a lesson in what the interior is worth, we hang in this tree to hit. Against these things we feel we're filled inside with, lunar body, chemical fire, soaked t-shirts, mountain of glass. I know it isn't true, but how perfect the light is through these trees, as if coming from a drive-in of the future, where infinity is dispersed so slowly, so slowly, no loss was meaningless, that we felt we weren't using space and time, but widening it. So I also just wanted to ask Daniel if that thing was true about the octopus eating his own heart. That's totally true. Is that true? You <laughs> like, to have like multiple hearts, starts to die, eat the first one. That's weird because I was like, my first question was, does an octopus have a heart? But I guess it has lots of them. Okay, that's amazing. At least two. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we need a question and answer session now. I'll look it up. Not during your problem. That's awesome. No, I'm going to have to write a poem about that. We all have to write. Um, okay, to my next one. Because asking was my first prison, I wouldn't say, but silence is another cell. To be known and unpossessable, we found in the Dickinson poem how she could say this thing so hard outright, shell the past cracks through to refuse, to bury eroticism in the painting of flowers, how the cat rubbed his head in your mouth, like you fell into a garden of all the deleted selfies to contour the year back to you in the angle of what is most intimate by hiding it. Is that an escape path? Going deeper into the edge, <coughs> scary with cicada pulse, big bright stars go through me. Tinted ice cream truck music, you said, switches to a different song when selling street drugs, oil rich milk. Issues the deeper music, which Issues a stroking sensation, what touch enters before language, standing in the backyard, these gold tomatoes are for microdosing sun. And the boy said, when is namaste? Could we enter it? 
Could we walk through it like a sunflower space? We stroke amidst cradle lines, the calendar wraps around a moment. Does freedom reach outside culture or infuse it? That time I wanted to drive into the heart of the city to taste artificial light, where you fell into the field and the flowers bloomed from your jaw. Okay, this is a poem um, about the unicorns of today, like just the renderings of unicorns, so hopefully you'll know what I'm talking about. Long left busy signal, wandering nerves, unicorns closed eyes, the way a tree falls from a tree, not as a small tree, but something encapsulated. I had to crack these sentences open to see them, the way the eyes on the unicorns of the 21st century were only closed. I read in the show, the core of the earth is younger than the planet, wrapped around itself like an open eye. This hole is an architect of stars, the hidden fetal cells which sneak into future children and heal our wounds. Where we willed a summer wonder arise between leaves, paws of light. The idea to end the poem by eating something huge, like sky, stars, the lake of all lost love. <coughs> the way a tree falls from a tree with just the digital imprint of its future greed or installation. Do we displace this space with life? Here is all space of doubt, not just a smaller form, but something indicated, halls of light, but not like entering a former identity, exceed the long lost industrial sorrow. The world swallows itself, world that swallows its future. I wanted to say therein love, love lies, that these words would be small claws to fray the ropes of a new fascism. And how can they stab you if their eyes aren't open? All the while knowing that when the baby comes, she'll eat everything, like a swan, ravenous, consumes additional space by making a tool of its curved neck, rips the bleeding heart from the fish, that if we knew exactly where we were going, we'd shatter, to pass from this world into reflection, writes back the imperfect mirror as the feathered body ripples through the green lake of long-lost seeds. Of course from greed, sure, but I close around everything I can to protect it, which is how the fetal cells unveil the, un invade the soft tissue of the earth. I ate the poem. I ate your open eyes. Um, this is a poem that's starting that I wrote after my husband said something really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that he thought all ingredients were unsalted was wrong, but I've done worse. It's not that the inner life is weightless, even with these words stripped of infuriation, laid naked as a sky scraping breath like a denim fringe, but that you can't set it down. Story of the custom frog cake ordered for a boy that when it came with just green frosting, two dots and a smile that enters me over and over, like time through the trees at a three-year-old's birthday, hopes in a secret language. Could you see me if we stripped these weeds from the frame, though I'm mainly comprised of weeds, like something knowable but cruel to name, to live inside the sight of it as a distortion of space, like the, the superabundant green overbleeding of the garden, I became two people to shatter myself, that something could gang dry to shatter myself. This petal, the rose leans after it and the lake. Okay, and this is the last one. Um, which is, I feel like a lot of these poems are sort of about um, the physical distortion of space, like after how, when you're pregnant, suddenly, your body changes, but it's quicker than your perception can catch up with. So you'll like open a door and <coughs> crash into yourself and then just like clumsily fall into things all the time. So um, a lot of these are about like off-centeredness in space, but also um, some of them are about positioning too, um, which has to do with my, this baby that I'm carrying right now is sideways, like she's not turned in the right direction. So
So I've been doing all this weird stuff to try to like get her to turn the right direction, but she's just not into it so far. So <laughs> anyway, it comes up in this one. Real world overlay, Atlantean ivy hover, overgreens me here, the way you can't prepare for the viewer's response, the way the pattern atomizes position. To live is to know no position is fully accurate. Her, her portrait coupons time, vagus nerves that trails the cranius, cranial edge from the voice to the guts that wants to stay. Same root as vague, divination, vagabond. And the problem that the baby is sideways inside, like a wave swept luminous boat against life's singular direction, a fringe splitting breath. So light these sticks of artemisia at the toe's outer edge for 10 days. Cover your eyes with mosquitoes whose quoted bodies beat gauze the light. Assume a fruit back echo hammock direction and velvet wings hung from the asphalt underside like a jewel the moon's exit replaces. What's clear gets clearer only by leaving, right? The rust deepens. The most of the universe is missing, which we're born into, liquid bird. The glow warm of these wishes knits its web of stars. Choose space through the mountain. The closer, closer you measure distance, the farther it becomes. Thanks.